I think uh, where we come from, and I'm, I'm with the National Treasury, uh, responsible to advise the Minister on the taxation issue, and uh, the tax uh, plays a, a small part in the big picture to deal with climate change. It's, it's not the main particular instrument, but it's an important uh, instrument, we think. So the Department of Environmental Affairs have published uh, and the Cabinet has approved the Climate Change White Paper. So there is a document uh, on the table to deal with the climate change challenges that uh, we face. And uh, the Climate Change White Paper do spell out some actions. Now, uh, admittedly, as the paper uh, Oxfam indicated, uh, the process of implementation uh, is probably lagging a bit. But be that as it may, I think there is a, a, a fairly sound piece of work has been done in that particular area. Uh, the Climate Change White Paper also uh, identify a range of interventions. And one of those interventions is the option to price carbon. Uh, from the Treasury side, we have done some work in this particular area over a number of years and have <coughs> published a paper in 2010 and then uh, about two, three weeks ago published a revised paper which laid the basis for a possible implementation of a carbon tax as from, uh, as proposed, uh, as announced 1st of January 2015. Now, why a tax? Why is a tax important uh, in this particular context? Or broadly, why is carbon pricing important? Uh, taxes have traditionally been used as a source of revenue for government, and that was important because government can't do without particular money. But taxes also play another role. It plays a role not only to generate revenue, but it also plays a role to influence people's behavior. And it does so by changing the marginal prices that you pay for certain goods or set incentives. So, the price signals that you f find in a market economy is important. And as the uh, illustration in the paper very aptly say, if you have to choose between two products and you've got X amount of money, you have to decide how to use that money. And so we've got limited resources, but our needs are ever expanding. And sometimes if the price goes up, your needs might be the same but your resources are limited, so you have to make a choice. The carbon price comes from that very angle and saying, we want you to make a choice, and we want you to make a choice to consume less carbon. And through the price mechanism, we're going to try and encourage you to make that choice and to steer you in that particular direction. Because if that price signal is not there, it's unlikely that people will change their behavior. And the reason why that is, is because you are spewing something into the air and largely the air is free. <coughs> Everybody can access it. But the person that makes the most, or pollutes the most, use the space up for another person that comes along and there is no more space to use. And so in that context, uh, you've got both regulations that put certain pre uh, prohibitions in certain areas and that's primarily the role of the Department of Environmental Affairs, but you have then the price mechanism that you want to use in order to change people's behavior. And there's a whole range of areas where we do this. Uh, and the question then and I, that we raise, is the carbon tax an appropriate intervention? The policy paper clearly say, yes it is. Uh, and it's nice to talk to a particular piece of work that confirms that particularly. In the other areas that we have to confront with, especially the people that are the, the big producers and the fossil fuel burners, they use a slightly different argument. And surprisingly, and I'm very glad that you come out here, is that they use a very argument that this particular thing is going to hurt the poor. And as I'm saying to you, how can you speak on behalf of the poor? So, uh, so in that particular respect, and uh, Liz has made the point in the end, the carbon tax is not going to reduce the price of electricity. Okay? It might actually contribute to 
a slight increase in the price of electricity. And the question is, in that particular, and that is electricity produced from fossil fuels, I must say. Because over the long run, if you get, and this is the first speaker's point that you've made, is that in the long run, if we do encourage the appropriate technology, you have a move towards renewable energy where the cost will come down and that particular gap between fossil fuel and renewable energy will decrease and hopefully renewable energy becomes a more affordable and a more sustainable source of energy. And so that's the context in which I think the carbon price can, or the carbon tax can make a role. So just in, in, in brief then, uh, the renewable energy is a very important issue. There's been some initiatives from government to promote it uh, through their uh, building tariff system. And I think the rollout will probably happen as we speak. Uh, and that's an issue. We are doing quite a bit of work on energy efficiency. There's some work to, in, 